Thanks for checking in to Weatherbug here on this Tuesday. Meteorologist Todd Nelson with a look at your local forecast, or national forecast, that is. Uh, locally, we are talking about flakes from the lakes. The lake effect snow machines are cranking here. And as this mid-winter weather continues here, we're going to continue to see this uh, lake effect snow continue uh, warmer with thunder this upcoming weekend. Potentially in the lower Mississippi Valley, the Gulf Coast states, we'll talk more about that. But our severe threat on Tuesday is definitely much quieter than it was yesterday. That front, they kicked out the severe weather yesterday in the southeast as well out into the Atlantic. Maybe a few general thunderstorms down in the south, southern tip of Texas, or uh, Florida rather. But as we take you into the eastern Great Lakes, look at this. We've got some general thunderstorms downwind of both Lake Erie and Ontario. You might think that that's kind of strange, but... Uh, because this air mass is so cold and the relatively warm waters of the uh, uh, Great Lakes here, uh, because of this extreme temperature difference, we've got this lake effect snow machine kicking up. And it could be so intense, this lake effect snow, that we could see some thunder snow. And uh, we've already had reports of thunder snow overnight there from Monday into early Tuesday morning. Uh, but some spots here could see as much as one to two feet of snow downwind of those Great Lakes, especially as you get up into the Tug Hill Plateau region uh, of the Adirondacks and so on. But uh, pretty amazing to see that. But as I mentioned, this is a very cold air mass. We do have another impulse of energy that's going to be plowing into the western U.S. And there it is, a little impulse here, but then another little impulse uh, back west of that eventually rolls inland. And what's going to happen is that's going to allow this colder air to get pushed back up to the north by this upcoming weekend, there it is, a little trough. That could help to kick out some shower storms and then maybe some snowfall to the far north. That's one thing that we'll have to be watching for. But highs today, certainly much colder than average uh, by near 20, 35 degrees.